are we alone in this universe? Roswell is often considered the most infamous UFO incident of all time, but reports of unidentified flying objects certainly didn't begin or end there. So what really happened? Is there a logical explanation for this event? Or is there a chance that it actually is an alien? On June 14th of 1947, when a rancher in New Mexico named William Brazel found something strange, a 1997 Air Force report determined that the alien bodies doing rounds were actually parachute crash test dummies that had been burned up in an accident. But for those who still believe, all these explanations amount to nothing more than a giant government cover-up. For thousands of years, people have described seeing strange flying structures of light, clouds, even fire. But as our cultural fascination grew with extraterrestrial life in the 20th century, so did the number of UFO sightings. Today, we are going to see five UFO sightings captured on video. Number five, the Phoenix Lights. Lights and craft of varying descriptions, most notably a V-shaped pattern, were seen by thousands of people between 1930 and 2230 Mountain Standard Time in a space of about 300 miles from the Nevada line through Phoenix to the edge of Tucson. The Phoenix Lights have inspired a documentary and multiple horror movies, but nobody can say for sure what happened. This incident can be broken into two phrases. First, a V-shaped formation was seen flying over Phoenix, although little footage exists of this event, and the footage we do have is low quality. There is more documentation of the second event, which saw five circular lights floating in the night sky. They were many events starting at 3 p.m. in the afternoon and continuing all the way until 5.30 the next morning. Even with numerous photographs, videos, and eyewitness accounts, though a giant question mark continues to hover over Phoenix. While the U.S. Air Force chalked the lights up to military flares, many have argued against these claims, and even Arizona Governor Fife Symington described what he saw as, quote, otherworldly. While I saw a huge craft come right over Squall Peak, that was, you know, it was just breathtaking. When the triangular formation entered the Phoenix area, Bill Greiner, a cement driver hauling a load down a mountain north of Phoenix, described the second group of lights, I'll never be the same. Before this, if anybody had told me they saw a UFO, I would have said, yeah, and I believe in the tooth fairy. Now I've got a whole new view, and I may be just a dumb truck driver, but I've seen something that don't belong here. Number four, Chilean Navy UFO. The Chilean government agency, which investigates UFOs, or unidentified aerial phenomena, has declassified and released never before seen video from 2014 showing a mysterious flying object of which they suggest could have been a UFO. A light speck can certainly stir up a lot of speculation. In 2017, the Chilean government agency, tasked with examining UFO sightings, released footage of a flying object that defied explanation. The footage, which has been classified for almost three years, was taken by the Chilean Navy from a helicopter during the day. The pilot failed to make contact with the object, which moved like another helicopter even more curious, the object didn't pop up on air traffic control radar. In two instances, the object ejected some type of gas or liquid. With high thermal tracking captured on video, you can see a massive plume of material trailing behind the object. Most mysterious of all, the UFO released an unknown substance and vanished into the sky. Experts were stumped with the agency's director saying, We don't know what it was, but we do not know what it was not. Well, that's reassuring, after an extensive study, the Committee for the Study of Anonymous Aerial Phenomena agreed it had all the characteristics to be classified as an unidentified aerial phenomenon. Number three, the Aguadilla Airport Incident. Even by UFO standards, this one's perplexing. It all started in April 2013 at the Rafael Hernandez Airport, located in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico. A video was taken of an unknown object swiftly flying over land and then seeming to submerge underwater. After doing so multiple times, the object appears to split in two, supposedly. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security tried to keep this under wraps, but the video was eventually leaked by an anonymous whistleblower. A group known as the Scientific Coalition for UFOlogy was responsible for posting the footage online. According to the SCU website, it quote exhibits characteristics that cannot be explained by any known aircraft or natural phenomenon. Number two, FLIR, Go Fast and Gimbal. On April 27, 2020, the Pentagon officially released three videos 
of what it literally admits are UFOs, and the U.S. government has never done anything like this before, anything like admitting objects it recorded as being unidentified and then publishing that footage on one of their official websites. So that footage is genuinely official. One taken in November 2004 and the other two in January 2015, which have been circulating in the public domain after unauthorized releases in 2007 and 2017. The U.S. Navy previously acknowledged that these videos circulating in the public domain were indeed Navy videos. After a thorough review, the department has determined that the authorized release of these unclassified videos does not reveal any sensitive capabilities or systems and does not impinge on any subsequent investigations of military airspace incursions by unidentified aerial phenomena. Released under the file name Go Fast, this video was taken over the East Coast in January 2015 by an F-18 F Super Hornet. So there are three videos Fleur, Go Fast, and Gimbal, and these clips are a little bit loud, so volume warning. Number one, military declassifies UFO files. The Kokoria Lights is a name given by the New Zealand media to a series of UFO sightings that occurred in December 1978 over the skies above the Kokora Mountain Ranges in the northeast of New Zealand's South Island. New Zealand's Kokora Mountain Range has caught the media's attention on December 21st when a cargo plane crew observed house-sized lights flashing around the aircraft for several minutes. Thousands of UFO documents have been released by the New Zealand Air Force. The documents released under Freedom of Information Laws cover sightings dating back to 1954. Air Traffic Control Specialists from Wellington tracked the lights, which an Australian television crew then recorded in color. The TV crew came along for the cargo plane's next flight from Wellington back to Christchurch. Shortly after takeoff, the crew captured footage of a giant illuminated orb. New Zealand's Ministry of Defense has provided several possible explanations, including lights from boats' cars, but alternatives say it could have been an unusual bright sighting of Venus, or merely radio and light wave transmissions. But for those who believe, even the publication of such sightings is a breakthrough. That's all for today's video. If you liked the video, do hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. Do not forget to press the bell icon to never miss another video. Until the next time, grab your telescopes or your cameras and keep looking in the skies. Maybe you might sight some UFOs yourselves.